But then that would not be, I don't know, maybe 99 cents. Can we call it that? Using only makeup from the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Only downfall is I don't feel like I found an eyebrow color, but we will have to make something work. And also eyelashes. I did buy the eyelashes. I did buy some eyelashes from Family Dollar, so maybe that kind of still, you guys will give me a break and it'll work. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Let me. I'll just open it as I go and this will be very, very interesting. I'm excited. I'm very legit excited. And one disclaimer, I'm really sorry about the noise. The AC is full blast because it is hotter than up. It's hot. It's hot outside and I can't. I can't do this. So I even bought me some cosmetic wedges so I will be applying with the cosmetic wedge. I actually do buy these at the Dollar Tree because they're great for baking underneath the eyes and baking the face. So it's a sponge. It's just a tiny sponge. I'm actually going to go wet this week. All right, so I'm back from wetting the sponge and I found the eyelashes. These are LA Colors Dramatic Lash. Now, a while ago, they did have eyelashes at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if everybody just like attacked them or what, but they don't have them now. So that was a bummer. I'm going to quickly put my hair back so I don't get anything in it gonna make me look so so sexy right now all right oh, okay let me take everything out these aren't gonna go on my face i just needed some dry erase markers and they were cheap so. but if you want a tutorial on that <laughs> okay so i have a bunch of goodies here like oh my god they have a lot of la colors they have wet and wild i think i'm using mostly wet um, i don't know we'll see all right, so for foundation, I did not find any primer. I went ahead and just moisturized my face using the Cetaphil um, moisturizer that I usually use. Okay, so I found two foundations. Um, this one here is LA Colors Liquid Makeup in the shade Creamy Beige. And then we have Beauty Benefit Cream from Sassy and Chic. And this is BB Cream. I said that. And yeah, it's just makeup. So I'm gonna pop both of these open. All right, so these are the two. If anything, I can just mix them. I'm gonna go ahead and just pump this guy. There's a pump, that's really good. And it's such a super tiny foundation, it's kind of cute. Okay, so it's pretty thick and it looks creamy beige, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna dot that. That is pretty light either way. That's the creamy beige. And then this one, oh dang, that is super light. Nope, not gonna work. Here, basically white in a tube, so. Maybe I could use that as a primer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the creamy beige because that's just what I feel is gonna work. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that using my little sponge that I've already wet, 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 wet. Oh gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some baby cream. Maybe that'll like help the whole coverage situation. I don't know. There's no coverage on anything. All my birthmarks, all my freckles, not birthmarks, freckles, are out in the open. Maybe I should have blended with a brush. Let me know. I had an idea that I should do my makeup using only the makeup brushes that products come with. You know, like those cheap applicators and all those stupid brushes that everybody like hates. I actually like them for some purposes and I feel like I have a crap ton in my drawer, so yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing something like that. Or I don't know if it's been done. It's probably been done. Okay. 
Guys, while I'm doing this, I'll just go ahead and talk to you. I'm gonna be doing a video on anxiety panic attacks because your girl had one last night and it was not pretty and I went by ambulance um, to the hospital and I'm just, I have my day off right now because obviously, you know, they give you some drugs and they're pretty heavy, narcotics. So I wasn't allowed to go to work today. Which is good and bad because I love work. I don't, I've never called in before. It just keeps me sane, keeps me busy, and I actually like work. And I had to call in. Okay, so, so far I feel like it's really like a nice light coverage, like super, super light. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more. Just to try somehow to cover some things up. The only thing is it feels like heck of greasy, like greasy like oil, I mean. Okay, so we are done with the face. And you guys are gonna laugh because the only setting powder that I found is kind of wild. But before we set anything, we need to go in with concealer. This is the lightest shade that I can find. It's in the shade Nude. It's from LA Colors. Looks like this, kind of reminds me of like the e.l.f. packaging. And I'm gonna also use this as eyelid primer because I did not find any of that. Usually my Dollar Tree has like a butt ton of like face powders and contour powders and all that and they didn't have anything this time. I don't know. They had a lot of nail things which I don't want nail products right now. Okay, so it's very light it feels like. But I'm pretty glad that it's like somewhat of a shade <laughs> that I need. And next to set the whole face, <laughs> I have to go in using this Wet n Wild single eyeshadow which I own and it's probably somewhere. This is Brulee. But I just kind of wanted to make this video like from uh, what do you call it? Just I didn't want to use old products that I had already. I wanted to buy them and show you, show me opening them. I have no idea how this will be done. This is maybe my shade. Um, I don't even know. It's a beautiful eyeshadow and it's super pigmented, but I'm going to try to set my face with this. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to pop some concealer on my eyes and my brows. Look at this foundation makes me look super oily and I'm a super dry person. So. Um, this is like the smallest kabuki brush that I could find, so I'm just <coughs> don't inhale that. And I guess if you were in a rush, this would actually kind of work. <laughs> Surprisingly. Alright guys, that worked. Surprisingly, it worked. Like, that's insane. It actually looks decent. I mean, it looks like I would a few shades too light, but it's something that, like, if you were in an emergency, it would work. I don't know. Maybe I can start using this to set my under eyes. Good idea. Moving right along, we're going to be bronzing up the face, and I'm actually just going to contour with this. This is the Powder Blush from LA Colors in the shade Baked. Let me show you out of the packaging. It is right there, so I'm gonna try to do my best um, and bronze with this, I guess. Let me bronze with it. Then I'm going to go back in with my sponge and the creme brulee and I'm just going to clean up the contour a little bit. Alright, 
So that is what we have so far. Next, going into blush. It was really, really hard picking out a blush. This is super dark. You're probably gonna be like, why the hell did you pick that? But I'm hoping it's like not so dark. This is in the shade Toast and it is from LA Colors. So that is what this color looks like. Let me give it a swatchy swatch um, here. Ooh, that is actually, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I really like this blush. Do not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I really would wear this blush every single day. Hey, it's like a hidden gem. Nice, very, very nice. And for a dollar, Okay, only thing I could not find was highlight. And I did find this little, oh, it's broken, a uh, trio. Eyeshadow Trio from ELF and it is in the shade Smoky C. I just need the one shade for highlighting. There was nothing else. Dang it, and the eyeshadow is actually really pretty, so I was thinking like, oh, I'll use it. And I'm just gonna take it onto this brush here. Try to be gentle, and I'm gonna highlight. That is so pretty. It's like a yellow gold. That is super pretty, like, oh my gosh. I would almost use all these products again. Can you guys see that? Like, dang. Elf Bake Trio, you need to get it. Now that we are all highlighted, there's no setting spray. Um, eyebrows. Eyebrows is usually what I do. I only have black eyeliner and I have this other eyeshadow palette. This is the six color eyeshadow, almost nude. So this is the palette that I picked up and then I also picked up this palette here. So nothing from here. So I'm gonna try the bronzer. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens, okay? That's not gonna work. It's really red. Let's move in on to the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this palette. This is, this, is it matte? It looks matte, yeah. Only reason I got this one is because a couple shades in here look like really nice transition colors. So I'm just gonna go into mixing both of these shades here on the bottom. Some nice browns and we're just gonna mix 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 and apply to the creeps as a transition color. Then I'm just gonna take this other palette here and I'm gonna take this darker brown here. And I'm gonna, even though it's shimmery, shimmery, I'm gonna work it into the outer corner. Kinda like an outer V type of thing going on. Hopefully the AC didn't bother you guys too much. I'm really sorry. Come on, pigmentation. I need you right now. So, so far, that's all we have. I need something darker, so I'm gonna go in with the bronzer that I used. And we are also going to be out of B with this.
really, really good. Next, I'm going in with this jungle green just because I'm wearing green, so I figured I would wear green. I'm gonna pop that on the outer third of my eyelid. It's actually really pretty. So good. Then I'm going in with this like lighter yellowy greenish type of color into the inner corner of the eye. Right, and now I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner of the eye using that same Elf Baked Palette. And I'm gonna throw some underneath the brows of the pen as well. Taking this LA Color Auto Eyeliner Pencil. No sharpener needed, it says. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the waterline and might as well tie line. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelashes for falsies, and these are the, or this is the um, very black mascara from LA Colors. It says more volume. It's so cute. It comes in a little, in a little guy like this. It's really tiny mascara. mascara. And the brush is so tiny and chunky. I like it. Alright, so I don't have any Dollar Tree blue, but this is the dual blue, and I'm gonna be applying these eyelashes here that, like I said, I got at Family Dollar, LA Colors, and they're LA Colors, so this should count, right? LA Colors, dramatic. Okay, moving on to the lips. I picked up two products. I picked up the natural. I should have seen that everything was almost all the colors. This is in the shade natural because I wanted to stick kind of natural, but it has like a brownie. I didn't want to do pink or anything. And then I also picked up the lip gloss in the shade happiness. And it's like a peachy gold speckled lip gloss kind of thingy. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this on. I actually like this color a lot. I, I used to own it. I don't know how to have it. Beautiful. I'm not gonna be applying the lip gloss, should I? Nah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and, I don't know, I'm kinda not gonna do it. So that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. It just goes to show you that you don't have to go buy everything at Sephora or, so yeah, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did because this was really fun. I was kinda scared and I, I'm, I'm gonna keep this on. I would actually go out looking like this. Like, I, I love a lot of these products. I'm gonna be using this. The foundation was nice. It's not great, but it was okay for like a quick brush. This is probably not my new lipstick color. This trio, the highlight, look at that. Look at that. It's nice. Like, so yeah, there's definitely hidden gems at the Dollar Tree. So go to your Dollar Tree and hunt them down and let me know. Send me a picture. Tag me in a picture on Instagram. Let me see how your look turned out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!